are laying out a four by eight foot, three quarter inch copper tubing thermal thermal siphon solar collector with an upper gradual upper slope so there would be no air bubble caught in the flow of the thermal siphon. laying out the copper tubing, cutting it, and laying it out on the four by eight sheet metal, I mean four by eight uh, plywood. Turn the cutter a time or two, you tighten it up each time you go around. And it will cut the copper tubing for you. Okay, today we're going to debury clean copper before we saw it. Now, you can take it and sand it like that. Get that copper real clean because that matters quite a bit. Or you can even use this to get the inside the copper elbow clean. Same thing on the outside, you can use this. Get the copper real nice and clean. Good. Next thing we do is we start putting soldering flux on the, on the inside. side of it. That lets the solder flow real good. You got it cut. What you want to do is you want to kind of get the uh, joint right here nice and hot.
no leaks in the joint. Okay. For the thing. What you do is take you some two by sixes, two by fours, put down there about three quarter of an inch in between the thing there where you're making them for three quarter inch copper tubing. That's about the size you need to make it. Lay your fin down in the center of it. Lay your pipe, metal pipe on top. Kind of get it started just a little bit. Well, a piece of angle iron or something across it. Tubes has got to have an upward slope to the to the cubic. We've got to make sure that that's done properly. First, you take line up your insulation. On your plywood, when it's covered properly, then you come back. Make sure that the flow tubes in the proper position. Okay, next, what you do is cut, cut this blade. Keep metal absorber plate underneath the uh, flow tubes. Flow tubes that have upward flow to your tank. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that the uh, copper flow tube and the proper position on top of the sheet metal that's laying on top of the plywood and insulation. We've got to make sure that this uh, flow tube is uh, marked and properly placed where we have an upward flow. After you get the uh, sheet metal underneath it, get it all lined up. Get all your copper flow tubes lined up on their mark where you have an upper flow in them. Take your form absorber fence. Take run a fine thin line of uh, heat resistant caulking. Put it on your flow tube, press it down, drill your hole, about six of them, but to begin with, probably about two, probably six is what you need to do. Go ahead and run your seven eighths eight sheet metal screw down in there and pull it up on your four bait. Treated plywood. And you do that on the whole 
a flow tube where your flow tubes are covered with a zorber fin. And then you take paint with high heat, barbecue, or this is what I use, it does a pretty good job. In fact, right, and it does better than the solar paint does. Just take this spray, your zorber plate, zorber fins, and everything real good with it. Then you cover it up with your polycarbonate with about an inch and a half to inch distance between the absorber plate and flow tubes where you have about that much cleansing. I use a two by two treated pan, fasten it to the full bait plywood sheet, then you flash your polycarbon. Polycarbon is right one of the best for solar panels as far as it's better than glass really.